Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, today we've got three fun little image animations for you. There's no coding involved in this today. We're just doing it with the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So this image on the left here, if I hover over it, it's going to grow and it's going to get a little box shadow underneath it. When I let it go, it's going to go back into place like that. And of course you can pop these out into a light box, link them however you wish. Our next one here, we've got a little black and white image there. When I roll over it, it's going to spin around and give us a colored version. When I take my mouse off, it's going to do the opposite. And our third one here, we got this little image. When I hover over it, it's going to kind of morph into another image or slow fade into another image. And when I take my mouse back off again, it's going to go back how it was really easy to do so let's get started I'm going to enable the visual builder once enabled let's go down where we want to work and I'm gonna delete these modules and we'll start from scratch I've got a row here with three columns in it I've actually made my row full width that's entirely up to you though let's add an image module roll on down here's our image module we'll choose the image that we want choose that same image and just down below in the link you can choose whether to open it in a light box or put a link in if you're using a link if you're linking to your own site keep it in the same window if you're linking off site open it in a new tab that way your site will stay open I'm going to have mine open in a light box. Great. Okay, well, we've got our little image there. What do I want it to do? Well, I want it to, when we hover over it, to grow a little bit and have a little shadow underneath. So let's go over to design. Right down at the bottom, just above animation, we've got transform. First one we see here is scale. We've got scale, translate, which means move, basically, rotate, skew, and transform origin, which is the middle point around which it rotates. I'm going to use the transform here today. What I'm going to do is hover up over the dark riding here. You'll see some little icons appear and this is common to all Divi modules. If there's an arrow, click on it. We can set a desktop state or well, desktop. Basically, when the mouse is not on it, I want to see it just as it is there. When they put their mouse on it, though, I want it to be, say, 20 percent bigger. So down below, let's just make this a little, little bit bigger. We've got a width and a height. If we've got that little chain checked, we can do both at once. On the hover state, I want it to be 120. So I'm going to put in 120. And it's going to get that big. Great. So when we're not hovering on it, it's that size. OK. Well, we want to add a bit of box shadow so that when it gets large like this, it's got a bit of shadow underneath it. To do that, still in the design tab, let's close up the transform. And a couple above, we've got box shadow right here. I'm going to use this particular one right here. But I don't want to see any when we're not hovering on it. So I don't want to see that there until we actually hover over it. If we roll down, well, if I roll back up, there's no actual arrow here, so we can't change the way this is on hover state but what we can do is go down to the color that it is we hover over that we've got a little arrow we can change that so on desktop I'm going to make that color transparent or see through so you can't see it when they hover over it I'm going to make it a dark gray make it black to start with and let's just grab that black and take it down in opacity or take the color up whichever works for you I'm going to take the opacity down, something like that. That works for me. And then when you hover over it, it's going to return to exactly how it was there. Fantastic. And the time that it actually takes to go from desktop to hover state by default with the Divi theme is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick. If you want to slow it down or speed it up, go over to the advanced. We roll down. We've got transitions right here. Transition duration, there's the default 300. I'm going to speed this up, let's say 800 milliseconds. Quite slow. 
and my transition speed curve I'm going to change that to ease in out that's my favorite for hover effects it eases back out again don't want any delay if you put a delay in there once they put their mouse on it it'll be that amount of delay before the actual transition effect happens so we should be pretty much good to go the only other thing I'm going to do here is when you actually put your mouse over you get that crazy looking number or, or word there that's actually the name of this image if you don't want to see the name of the image when you hover over it go up to attributes we're still on the advanced tab and we'll delete that that way when you hover over it you won't get that but that's entirely up to you so we should be good to go with our first one here let's just save the changes we'll quickly save the page changes and let's exit the visual builder roll on now there's our first image when I hover over it as you can see it's growing and it's getting that little bit of box shadow underneath it giving it almost 3d effect there like I say really easy to do like I say we've got this one popping out into a light box or you can have it direct to a link if you want to fantastic well, let's enable the visual builder and we'll get on with our next one once enabled let's go down again and I'm going to add another image to our middle column here let's select an image again and let's use the same ones we had before there it's got a nice bit of color to it let's move this over here this time okay we've got a nice colored image there what do I want to happen well initially I want it to be black and white then when they roll over it I want it to spin around and become cover colored so let's do that first thing I'm going to do I'm going to go over to design I'm going to roll down to filters our second filter here is called saturation that's basically the color and it's got an arrow when we hover over it so we can create a hover effect so let's click on the arrow on the desktop I don't want to see any color so I'm going to take the saturation down to zero so it'll be black and white when they put their mouse over it I want it to be 100% back to color again so I'm going to type in 100 there it'll put in the percent for you and again the time it takes to do that is 300 milliseconds I'm actually going to slow mine down if we go to advanced again to transitions I'm going to slow this maybe down to a second 1000 milliseconds and you can type in a value you can slide up and you can increment up and down with the little arrows there too again no transition delay and I'm going to use ease in ease out great so that should be black and white initially and then color when we hover over it but I want it to twist around so let's go back to our design actually before that let's get rid of this name that's popping up here while we're still in the advanced again that's in attributes simply select that for anybody that doesn't know image alt text is really for screen readers and you should always have alt text with an image and it should be a description of the images two guys with glasses one with a beard something like that image off a lot of people do use it for keywords and things like that that's entirely up to you for this I'm just gonna leave mine blank great well let's go over to our design this time and we're gonna flip this thing around when we hover over it so let's go down to our transform again where we were before this time we're going to go over to the rotate I'm going to use this axis right here what I'm going to do is get my little arrow up on desktop state I'm going to have it at zero when they hover over it I'm actually going to rotate it around 359 degrees I can't go 360 because it'll go back to zero but I'm going to do 359 as you can see I'm incrementing up with the little arrows there and that's barely discernible as a difference so that's fine and then when they're not hovering over it it's going to go back to being normal there we have it and we set the timing and everything for that let's save this and we'll take a quick look little purple button save the changes exit the visual builder and we'll roll on down there's our second image when I roll over it it's going to flip round and reveal itself in color when I take my mouse off it's going to do the opposite and it's taking a second to do that 
Great. So that's two of them done. Let's get on with our third one now. I'll enable the Visual Builder again. And we'll roll on down. We'll add another image module over here. Now let's pop us an image in. I guess I'll use the same image as I used before then. Now this time I'm going to start off with a different image and then I want this one to fade in slowly when we hover over it, almost like a morph effect. So to do that there, we've got to take a slightly different approach. What we're going to do is go into the row and put an image in the background of the actual column here. Then we can make this one disappear so you'll see that one initially and bring this one back on hover. To do that, let's save what we've got going on here. We'll go into our column there, green tab for the row. We're working on column three over here. Here's column three. I'm going to go down to the background of column three. We'll add an image. And again, I'll use the one I used before, which was this one. We'll pop him in there. Of course, you can't see anything because this one's on top of the other one. So let's save our changes here in the column. We'll save the row. We'll go back into this one and make the magic happen. So to do this one, we're going to go over to the advanced. And attributes, I'm going to take that name away again. And it's up to you whether you put alt text in there or not. And the transition time for this one, I'm going to make it really slow. Now you can roll this up. If it doesn't go as far as you want, you can type a new value in there. I'm not going to go three seconds on this, but let's for fun, let's go two seconds, just 2000 milliseconds. And again, I'm going to use ease in, ease out. Great. Now let's make this thing disappear. Again, we're going to go to design and down to filters. Let's go down to opacity. And opacity defines how transparent or opaque this is. If I take it all the way down to the left, it'll be invisible. So let's get our little arrow up on desktop state when the mouse is not on it. I don't want to see it at all. I just want to see that other image just like that. When they hover over it, I want to bring it back. So I'm going to take that back up to 100%. We've already set our timing for this, so we should be good to go. Again, let's save our changes. Exit the Visual Builder. We'll go on down. Here's our three little images first one is going to grow and get a bit of box shadow and we can pop it out into a light box second one there is going to flip around and become color and of course you can link it or light box it if you want to our third one here when i hover over it it's going to slowly fade into the other one that's taking two seconds when i take my mouse off it's going to take two seconds to go back again that's kind of a nice little morph effect so there you go guys there's three image hover effects with no coding, with a Divi theme. Great little things to have on your desktop site. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.